Yeah, I'd say my day consists of YouTube for about 30 minutes, or my, maybe like 9% of my day. The other, probably the other, uh, I'm not good with math, but I'm, I'm assuming the other 91% of the day is just doing, just grinding, man, just doing work. Sometimes I feel really guilty because I don't devote enough energy to the YouTube and to the content creation because I have a lot of respect for the people that, that do excellent behavior analytic content. Maybe nine or 10% of my day might be creating some behavior analytic content or vlogging for YouTube, but the other 90 or 91% of the time, um, like today, this week, I looked at payroll and uh, I have to find errors in there to make sure the correct deductions are occurring. Um, I take a sliver of it and I can't, there's no way I can look at all of payroll. I actually enjoy the process of getting in there and doing the things that most people don't like to do. Yeah. Did you get that uh, thing where we have to pay $1,000 for a title search? We have to pay $1,000 just to find out if a company has debt when we buy it. Like that's ridiculous. I enjoy getting in the the thick of things. I, I always say I like getting my fingernails dirty. I like being one with the process. How's it going with uh, planning some of the um, stuff for the camp? Put it this way, it's done for summer, but we're sorry, we're gonna do a fall camp and a winter camp. So any time the kids are off from school, we're planning a camp. Important tip for yeah. parents. I don't know if they're gonna want us to say this, but sometimes care managers have funds for summer camps and winter winter camps? Yeah, any camp, anything. So since our camp's also, it's a movement matters, fitness thing, um, there's funds for fitness classes. So that can be, it can be, go either way, really. Oh, okay. Not just for camp. Mm -hmm. That's cool. 90% of my day might be looking at the utilization. Like I'll take a piece of uh, 450 employees or whatever, and I'll look at their utilization. Are they meeting the required hours to make sure the kid is getting served or the adult in the appropriate way? So I'll look at um, whether they're overpacing or underpacing and so forth to make sure the learner is getting what they need. Other things are, like I was talking with a parent that was somewhat disgruntled about things and, and you know, she had every right to be, I think. So I feel like I had to compensate for that. and overdo it with making sure we gave extra services for this family because I feel like we, we were in the wrong. So Joe, you met Joe before, executive director. He's the one that gets every single survey and when there's that percentage of surveys where someone might not be happy, he breaks it to me when they're not happy. He should have a title chief heart officer eventually, something like that, man, because it's like, you gotta be all heart. There. Yeah. yeah. You know, every day, man, just reaching out, making sure people are good. Actually got a few things that I wanna run by in our meeting today. But so whenever Joe, whenever Joe finds a concern, he, he, he always handles it with in individuality and customizes the response. But then when he sees a thread of patterns of the same concern, he always comes up with a system. So he'll come up with a system that uh, solves it. Other things might be um, making sure that things, uh, I'm, I'm coding things correctly with taxes because taxes are a big deal and most of my life is paying taxes, the IRS. A typical business owner pays about 45% tax, self-employment taxes and so forth. So you have to learn the tax law. Employment labor laws are very important so I try to immerse myself in understanding what it's like in California because certain states, depending on Republican versus Democrat, there's different rights afforded to different employees. So California, Massachusetts, and Maine are maybe vastly different than New Jersey. Marlene's working on quickly studying the California and Maine and Massachusetts laws because we're, yeah, with our expansion there. Yeah. I was on the phone this morning with the attorney and they were telling, telling me how different the laws are in various states when you branch out interstate across across states then you end up realizing that um the, the laws are different for each employee so you have to adjust your handbook and your laws and your you know your training for staff the posters that you put up kind of fun i love i love like learning all the stuff that is like behind the scenes you know because then i feel like i can train the leaders on stuff and um I usually learn from her every day, so cool. 
This morning I was talking to our limo driver that takes kids into the community, said that he was, he was having a kind of a rub with another employee and uh, kind of sorting through that was important because the, the channels didn't all work correctly for him to get his problem solved. But I wake up every morning just expecting there's gonna be problems. <laughs> We're proud of the way our back office, uh, if you wanna call that, or administrative team, provides all the support so that someone like May can use her skills and be laser focused on only behavior analysis and training. I picture someone like May being a surgeon. Do you ever see how a surgeon, like a, a <laughs> surgeon walks into a, um, to do surgery and like yeah, their, their hands are clean, you know, and they walk in and um, I think the door automatically opens mm -hmm. and the heart surgeon or ca cardiothoracic Cardio, yeah. surgeon Cardio would actually go into the chest after it's already opened and other doctors have it ready. He'll tie the friggin' aorta or whatever they do, right? And then he's out, like literally within five minutes. So the most difficult part, yeah. he does, which is kind of like what May does with the most challenging behaviors. I like that analogy because like it's, that that's such a perfect analogy because like I don't I don't need to have you know shave the patient you know what yeah. I mean yeah make crack the Never chest bone that. open like somebody oh, else yeah. <laughs> they have to do that yeah <laughs> but literally she can focus she can focus on what she has yeah. to do best but if, so. but how effective would a surgeon be if they had to do everything yeah do you know what I mean like exactly. they, they wouldn't so I, I love that analogy yep and. Just trying to just try to enjoy the process of tackling the problems. What I've noticed all throughout life and throughout work, if you get ahead of the problem and tackle it, it's so much better than waiting for the, the problem to occur.